When I go hiking in the woods, I wear my Glock. But when I go to the grocery store, I wear a mask. It's not because I'm terrified of bears or that I'm shaking in my shoes thinking there's bears out there, but there's a hazard. There's a lot of huge critters. This is, this is Alaska. For COVID, here are the hazards. Contaminated surfaces, droplets, <laughs> which are the big chunks that fly out of your face when you cough or sneeze, and aerosols. You emit some aerosols anytime you breathe normally or speak, and they're tiny. A hair is 100 microns. Coarse aerosol particles are 5 microns, and individual viral particles are 0.1 micron. So they're really easy to get everywhere, and they last an extremely long time indoors. Now, just distance is going to dilute the aerosols, but the question is, can a mask actually stop aerosols? I set up an apparatus to measure this. It uses an optical particle counter to actually count individual aerosol particles. I use 3D printing to cast a ballistics gel face and then seal it all inside a pressure cooker. So when I test a real pre-COVID N95 mask, I find that it filters 90 plus percent of aerosol. But even a thin, crappy dust mask will actually capture 40% of those aerosols. But leakage is really important, so this loose cotton mask, it only captures 10% of the aerosols because most of them just go through the nose hole. Now, this is still going to stop droplets, so it's not totally worthless. A 3D printed mask with just a paper towel filter actually captures 60% of the aerosols, and that's true for this stopgap mask or for my Alaska Micro Mask. Even a bandana works pretty well, not only stopping droplets, but 30% uh, of the aerosols, if you can get it tight around your face. Every mask we tested was better than nothing. There's a simple test you can do to figure out if your mask is actually sealing around your nose, and that's just to put on a pair of glasses. So if hot, humid air is getting past your nose, then it's going to fog up the glasses. If I compare with this hardware store mask, uh, every time I exhale, I can just feel that there's a big puff. Now, your mask doesn't have to be fancy to actually seal pretty well and then do a decent job of filtering. This thing does not fog. And when I run the numbers, this thing actually tests pretty well. I think it's frustrating that we always act like there's only two options. One is to panic about a problem, and the other is to ignore it. I feel like there's a middle path here, which is to mitigate. Take simple steps to make it better. So for COVID, that means wash your hands, stay away from people, and wear a mask. Now, it's hot, it's uncomfortable, but it's worth doing to protect human life.